even though it had all the plot points for it and him saving Clank and shit like that, it, it didn't seem like that level of chill that Ratchet and Clank 2 has. It's a different character to me. It doesn't feel like it flowed as seamlessly. While Jack grew into his character, I felt like because they just switched the voice actor, a whole different tone. PS2 emulation for Deadlocked, I might have to do that. I might have to do that if it wasn't so buggy. Um, let's see. Only way to stream it. Best version of Ratchet and Clank's Just Gamer says is Crack in Time. Even his design in that game is your favorite because it looked more older and mature. That I can say I can agree with. I think Crack in Time was peak Ratchet. I gotta go back through it to go make sure how his character was. But I think that was peak Ratchet. Crack in Time found it. He reached his peak. His peak. Um, what you spoke. Reboot OST sounded like that. Yo. You enjoyed Tools of Destruction into the Nexus? I didn't play into the Nexus. Tools of Destruction I liked. They were solid. Yep. Ratchet Reboot sounds nothing like the OST. OG? Okay, let's listen to it. Let's see. We're we going heavy in this. TVH. Ratchet OST ain't hit as hard as Metropolis and Ratchet 3. I agree with that one, Shadow. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't think I've paid, paid attention to it. Because for me, when I think of Ratchet and Clank OST, I'm thinking about Ratchet and Clank 3's OST, the Phoenix Starship. I'm thinking about the, the war music from Ratchet and Clank 3 specifically, straight bangers. And even going Commando's intro scene, the intro area, those are so good. It overshadows Ratchet and Clank 1 to the point where I don't even give a fuck about this one's OST, to be honest. Like, literally, you hear Ratchet and Clank, oh, Ratchet and Clank 3's OST in the background of other videos that aren't even about Ratchet and Clank. In the background of just random topics I see in NBA videos and shit like that. It is that magical. So I was like, Ratchet and Clank 3, I think, is peak music, and it just overshadowed everything in the franchise for me. Let me see. Do you think Going Commando and Up Your Arsenals have soundtrack? I think those are the best. Jack 2 wasn't hard, just didn't have checkpoints. Actual combat, that shit was easy. Depends on the mission. Like the Metalhead mission, where you have to kill 30 of them inside the forest. And then um, and then the ones where you're protecting Sig, those are actually pretty tough combat ones. I think it when the smaller area was easy. At the, at the end, he literally changes, becomes buddies with Clanks. Yes, he becomes buddies with Clank. But that was just that one moment, and then the second one, he becomes so mellow. I, it, I don't know. It just it, to me, it didn't feel too natural. Let me see. I don't hate cracking time, but you hate the retcons that they made. Nexus was okay. Do you? Let me see this. React to the video on screen. Let's see. Paul's ADHD is kicking it. Sewers kicked your ass. Let me see. Let's look at this. Like, look at this world. When you go back to Ratchet Clank One. This is nostalgic as hell for me, but nowadays it looks like Clado. And then once you play it like this, they copy the same exact layout. It's beautiful. Even if they gerbified it, like I can't go back. It's literally as perfect as can be. With this, I go back to this. It's, it looks like Neopets I'm playing in here and Clado. For some reason, the second one got a different vibe. And now look at that. It's just the world. You cannot say that the worlds weren't done better in Ratchet and Clank PS4. Like, look at that. Look at this world. It looks like someone rubbed it. This looks like a shit stain on a paper towel, to be honest. Belden looks like a shit stain. And now look at this. It looks magical. It looks bright and colorful. It looks warm and inviting. Ratchet Clank 2, it looks warm and inviting as well because it's it's much it's blue. You're in the outer space. Air, the ship thing. And it's like um, you're going into this fast-paced thing. To me, every time I play Ratchet Clank 1, it just looks like this is so grim. This is so dreary. Ugh. And then when you go to Velden again in Ratchet Clank 3, it's brighter. There's action going on left and right to keep you engaged because they know it's a boring world. Like, look how quiet this is. And yeah, it's because you just started. But look at this one. Lively, bustling, colorful. It doesn't look like shit. It aged so bad. Here I'm listening for the OST. It just sounds mid and then... Here you hear some background immersion. The water looks good. The world is perfect. You have the ability to swim like that. Versus here, you're drowning on some banjo kazooie shit. Slow paced, very slow. That's how I feel with this. It just feels so old. And then here, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And so I would still put the PS4 version if someone was to play it. I can't go back to this old one. I would say start with going commando before anything. Like, look at this cave. One looks like Lado, one looks mystical. Things moving in the background. You got the vines, you got the water, you got the little moss right there. The, the shrooms glowing. Even this room. 
It looks like a prototype nowadays. Look how mid this shit looks. It did not age well at all. And then they look at this remake. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now you feel like you're in a factory. Remake had no passion. It was way too easy. Oh, man. I feel like midway the passion for the remake died because these worlds, look at this. Look at that jump in the graphics. Oh my god. How much did they pay? Play it, bro. Judge it once you finish it. I've played it so many times and it's like, yo, my opinion is pretty solid on this one. It, the first one aged like milk. Ratchet Clank 2 going commando though, that's where the series figured itself out because they copied that formula for, till now. That's when they started adding level up to the guns. That's when they started adding XP systems. That's the formula. That's where they figured out the winning formulas in 2, not 1. Uh, if they actually went with the actual remake instead of retelling a movie, you'd be happy. I hear you. Taylor with me, Paul Tristan wants to be so different to the Shadow. Now, it's pretty split though. A lot of you guys do say that you missed the first one. Look at this. It's a lot. This is perfect example. This is how I feel. Like, look at this. Look at the, look at the remake. I, I can't say that I like the old one better than the new one. Look at this shit. You're looking at a dead clay board. It's a dead clay dough map. This feels like when I beat a game and there's nothing left in it. You play Spyro 1 and there's no gems left in the map. That's what you got right here. Nothing. There's nothing. And then, boom, look at this. The world's alive. The world's alive. You got lighting dynamic shows. It's actually under siege. Beautiful. And then, the fuck is this? <laughs> Look at this! Even this tunnel! The camera's shaking. The graphics, you feel very much in a cave versus I'm in a Clado fort. The gun's got the level up system. See? Holy shit, Silva, explain this Elemundo to me. Oh, hola, me alegro de que estés aquí. He estado. Eh, nos hemos visto antes. Estoy teniendo un déjà vu. No, no creo. Oh, el... I like the tone of the cutscenes, to be honest. It, it seems so much more like cinematic for me, bro. I don't know. Let me see if there's another comparison video. What else they got here? PS2 versus PS4 comparison. Let me see another one here. Let's, let's take a look. PS2. Bada bing, bada boom. Being able to throw, like the controls too. Stiff. Look at the train station. You see, look at Metropolis. Ay, ay, ay. What was that border jumper language? What was that? Ratchet 1. Ratchet 1 humor versus the reboot humor. I give you that one. Humor for sure. For sure. They gerbified the humor. The Ultima. There's no tone. I don't, I wouldn't say that though. Um... Because I like the storytelling in, in the beginning of this remake versus the second half. The second half, they kind of lost to where they started chopping up the movie. The tone where they were trying to... they I, I, I could kind of understand what they were going with Ratchet's character in the remake. Even though they try to gerbify it. But I feel like it's the same tone. Because if you go back to it, to me, I feel like this is like... This is unseasoned chicken for me. That is my hot take with this. Ratchet like one feels like unseasoned chicken. And then Ratchet and Clank PS4, it's got seasoning. It's just, it's just a bad cut. Look at this. Like, I feel like I'm looking at part of whatever Rift Apart was trying to push with this. Look at Metropolis. Look at the detail in the background. The controls, the EXP system. Look at the gunplay, the blaster gunplay. This is the shit I'm talking about. This is exactly what comes to mind right here. Look at this. This is why I can't even go back. This, this right here. My gun, I can reach the bullets. The blaster, it stops at a certain cutoff speed. It's like the render distance doesn't go that far. What is this shit? This is that, that peak gunplay you're talking about? Nah. We got blaster ammos. This is it. Nah, you did not just say Ratchet 1 is a strategy game, not a full-on shooter. Nah. 
Nah, what strategy is here? There's no cover system, so there's no strategy there. We're on a train here, and we're... No, Trickster. No, you know, that's... There's a cover system here. There it literally is. The gameplay is shown right here. How come we got a cover system here? And the ammo actually reaches the enemy, and there's actual blasters and a level-up system that here... Here's the gameplay I'm talking about. Age like milk. Ugh. No cover system. This is damn near... Look at that. Wow. That's what I think about when I see it. And then even the bolts. You don't even pick up all the bolts when you go next to it. It is so dated with that reach. And I get it. It's later on. But like, come on, man. Look at that. Brighter colors. Way more inviting. Oh, my God. Look at that detail. Look at that detail. Nah. Nah, I can't. And this is coming from the guy who loves Ratchet and Clank. It changed my channel in my life, but like... Oh boy. I like this boss battle in this one more too. Versus here, look how slow paced the fire is coming at you. Look at this. Slow paced. I felt like Spyro 1's villains, Spyro the Collection, had better boss fights than this. That's my hot take. Real talk, Spyro, Crush, Gulp, Ripto. Faster paced fights. It felt like Ratchet and Clank 1, they slowed it down so much. All of these Ratchet and Clank 1 areas just feel like an empty spiral world to me. Real talk. That is my, my real opinions. My live opinions now, bro. It feels like an empty spiral world. It feels voidless nowadays when I go back and look at this shit. And of complete way uh it's two versions yeah ratchet and clank's always been uh kind of a game where you blow lots of stuff up particularly in the uh, sequels and one of the things they've done with this remake is just up the ante on everything there's more enemies more particles and the impact on gameplay is it means you get a lot more sort of nuts and bolts where you can upgrade your weapons and stuff so it kind of right here into look at this side by side my photographic memory be putting this side by side like oh my god See, I can actually shoot those enemies from this spot on the bridge with this side on the left. My blaster ain't going to reach that enemy on the left. Where's the strategy? There's no cover system. There's nothing. I, I can't. I can't. The flamethrower is used for the crowds of enemy. So the flamethrower is going to reach the enemy in the back there. It's so bad. I can't say anything about the OG one just because he played a rift apart. I hear you. Tell them about baby Krillin. You're going to repeat a static statement from Shadow. Shakespeare wants to be so different as Jelly. It doesn't feel empty, play it, and then judge it. Man, how are you going to compare PS2 graphics to PS4 graphics? Not even just the graphics, the gameplay. The gameplay is ass in the first one. Bro, did you not just see the example? It's not a strategy game. You are capping hard for your nostalgia, bro. I, I'm going to call that out. You capping hard for your nostalgia. What strategy was that the blaster don't even reach the enemies because the draw distance or whatever on that shit don't reach? Like, where's the strategy here? My blaster can reach those enemies all the way in the back, or at least it has an effect where it shows it. Here, I can't. I have to run up there with my wrench, or I have to use the flamethrower, run up right next to him. And those are the only two guns I got to, like, the beginning, till I get the Devastator. Then every other gun is mid. What do I have? The bomb gun? And they can't even level up, so then it gets very, very repetitive, because you can't even cycle through the the guns. I've played this so many times, and platinum this so many times, it's like, bro, I, I, I know what I'm talking about here. Is it just a few improved textures? It's so slow. Spyro 1, 2, and 3 for the PS1 had faster gameplay than this. Geometry elements as well, so they've added just little touches to bits of scenery which are previously a little blocky. Ratchet Clank 2 is where they got the pacing right. Look at this. Wholesale sort of rewriting of everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I as you say, re -envision. Even if it's just the graphics I'm comparing here, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. That is how I saw it when I was a kid. Like PS2 to PS3 and then PS4. Wow. Titles on PS3. So that's why I can't shit on it. Sort of the shooting, but in terms of the level design, that's where I feel like it was just bad management with the PS4 version because of the whole movie cut up thing. But look at this. Look at the bolts flying everywhere. Place, but then the routes are completely different as you move around the level. So it's kind of like they've just reworked everything to provide a fresh new experience. Now, some of the characters, we can talk about how they kind of nerfed them a bit. But some of the less interesting characters, they made more interesting, to be honest. Look at this. So what were we seeing on the PS3 version in terms of... Oh, my God. So that was uh, native 720p. So slow on the left. I can't. This is the first time we've seen it at this sort of pristine level of image quality. 
Uh, yeah, definitely. There's the gameplay. There's look at that. This guy, he's running up with the wrench. Uh, yeah, this is what I see. Versions, so a lot Me and my four hit boxes. DS2 game, which was four and then over here, look at this fast paced, fast, fast paced explosions, bolts flying everywhere, colors, details, shadows, dynamic lighting. So yeah, going back to the uh, PS4 version, the other big change aside from resolution is basically how new technology is. Here you got. Look at the guns are so much better. It looks more like a cartoon in that respect. It's not cell shaded, but you've got sort of quite plain textures, which are well suited yep. to the PS2 architecture. But when we look at the new remake, everything's got a CG style aesthetic. Yeah, it's really helps along. Is that a uh, motion blur effect I see? Yeah, definitely. Yes. You've got, uh, camera and object. Look at that. Depth look at depth. all the background, though. Look at the background. The whole city is alive. The left one feels like I'm playing through a sequence. Sonic are basically trying to replicate the look of. Now, what they changed with Al. The new Ratchet and Clank movie. The I'm characters I give you. Uh, cut scenes in the game. You I give the first one, but film along with. For look at that! Oh my God! The whole thing looked completely different. It looks barren. It's the same color scheme. I see a lot of brown, like the first Ratchet and Clank. A lot of green and in brown. That is the main thing I see from the first one. That is mainly what I see. That's the main color schemes of Ratchet Clank 1. Even the box art, like if you look at the logo of that shit, the logo of the first Ratchet and Clank game, if you guys ever seen what that shit looked like, it, it matches the tone of this shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me find this. Ratchet and Clank 1's logo, look at this. This is where, look how ass looking this shit look. This is why I was like, they didn't find themselves until, until the next one. So this was the original logo. I'm gonna pull it up. The original logo was right here. This is the original one. It looks literally like the color scheme. This is what I remember from editing all of those thumbnails. If you guys can see this, this is the original logo. It looks like a shit stain. And then they figured themselves out. I think it ran to like two. Or they at least they buffed the colors right here around 2003. Hold up. They figured it out right here. Ratchet and Clank made it a little bit brighter, made it a little bit more smooth, but it was so old and clunky with that first one, and then they got rid of it. Then they made it smooth, and then they made it even cleaner and even cleaner. But it, it just, that's the, th the tone I get from this first game is this. Brown, gray, green, old. Shadow with the 10... The 10 bomb, he says, yo, appreciate you, bro. He says, when you spend 80% of the time in the game, in game, I'm going to pick the smoother game because cutscenes take forever. Finna be on the internet nowadays. This man really tried to defend a turn-based shooter sitting in the corner using guided rockets. I agree with you, bro. I 100% agree. I know everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but like, yo, at least somebody got me here. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, Shadow. Footage from the film along I I thought I was tripping. I thought I was tripping. I'm like, yo, am I tripping? I'm not tripping. I'm looking at this shit. I'm getting bored looking at the left one. Uh, motion blur effect I see. Yeah, definitely. You've got a uh, camera. Angle. Like it makes me want to play the left one even less. Field. And overall, I must be bugging because they sacrifice story for graphics. Ah, uh, I can agree with that part. They did, but with how bad, how bad. Like, the, how bad these graphics are. Like, when you really look at it, it is, the worlds are dead. And the thing is, I can't say just because it's on the PS2 and it's the first game of the series that it said, nah, because Spyro on the PS1 is more lively than this shit. Jack and Daxter on the PS1, I mean the PS2, the first one, more lively than this shit. Um, the worlds in Ratchet and Clank 1, when you really look at it, were dead. It looks depressed. A new is the roasted trickster. I, I hear this. Even if it's just for graphics, they made the whole world alive. The whole side just feels depressed and dead. It's gray, it's brown, and it's green. It literally looks like a shit stain. I can't, I can't even, it's not appealing for me to play. And the gameplay is, it reflects that. It's slow, it's sluggish. Ratchet 2 came out a year later and they already look so much better. It looks better. It moves better. The characters know themselves better. The story is much more engaging. The action's crazier. And the second one, Ratchet and Clank 2 is where it all started. That's where I was so thankful I got that one versus the first one. Because the first one, with how he was acting, with how this world is, it, it's so bland. It is unseasoned chicken breast for me, bro. Yeah, definitely. You've got. Uh, I'm, I'm comparing this to chicken now. It has It's chicken with no seasoning. And overall, Insomniac are basically... If I was to pull up a comparison of Ratchet Clank 1 and 2, I could show you the difference right away. Ratchet and Clank 
Even the music, I remember, it, it just it just ramped up. Use footage from the film. Look at this. Boom, they added color. They added color. Look at this. It looks so depressed on the left. There is nothing appealing about that on the left. But Jack and Daxter 1, we had the Forbidden Jungle. We had the beach. We had all of these beautiful locales. Even in, in Jack 2, in the underground area, it looks much more lively than this. For this particular title. Oh. And then he's moving so slow versus Spyro. Oh. Spyro is brighter and more colorful. Spyro, you're running around the area. Spyro is insomniac built. The boss battles are fast paced. The aesthetic is like when I compare it to every game around a genre, plus itself, plus their predecessor, Ratchet and Clank 1 to me just seems prototypish. Look at it, the same spot. Look how the, the enemies are flying. Oh my god. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I, I cannot compare, like, the worlds, even if it's just graphics. Look at the worlds. They did the worlds 1,000% better. Like, the worlds are so beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my. It makes me want to play. Yo, I don't care. It's not blind nostalgia running me here. I get it. Some of y'all missed the old ones. But, like, I know the gaming Brit roasts this shit, too. But, like, come on, man. Oh. The worlds, I want to play the one on the right. I do not want to play the one on the left whatsoever. There is zero part of me that wants to go and touch that one. It's basically got the PS5 model. Wow. And remember, his voice in this was raspy as shit. It's that Michelangelo voice. It's not the calm, a mellow voice. Let's see, PS4 one. So it's got the CG cutscene vibe. Jeez. I don't know, man. Um, Paul's afraid to diss Jack 1. Nah, nah. I, I, I'm not going to diss Jack 1. Jack out 1 came out a year earlier. Exactly, exactly. Some of the snow in the early PS2 games is pretty dead in most of the worlds. I agree with that, 1,000%. Chicken with no spikes says Bengals, yes. Color textures shine, and they made it. The studios literally shared assets, so what's the reason now to? Exactly, Shadow. They worked in the same building across the hall from one another. So it's like, Insomniac, they were really, I felt like the first one so experimental because of that, bro. Because they're working across the hall from Naughty Dog. They were in the same building. They were sharing assets. They literally just came off of Spyro where everything's more colorful, more fast-paced. The characters were way better than Ratchet Clank 1. It was Ratchet Clank 2 where the characters felt like they matched what Ratchet Clank Spyro 2 did. They pulled the same thing in Spyro 1. They had the they couldn't figure out the character. That was Insomniac's flaw. Spyro 1, it felt like a very shitty Spyro. Like he felt so half-assed. Spyro 2, amazing game. Ripto's Rage, amazing game. And that's the same exact thing they did with Spyro 2, 3, Red Clank going commando and up your arsenal. Insomniac always had like one prototype game, and then they found themselves. And then every time I look back at Red Clank like 1, it's that. It's literally that. The story of a Lombax named Ratchet and his robot friend Clank and the muscular, irresistibly handsome hero who helped them save the galaxy. The Snaggle Beast looks better in the remake. I like the boss battle more in the remake. This looks it's slow perish because yo, how this boss battle come out so shit. We have if I go back to Ratchet, if I go and pull up a clip of Spyro 2, look at the gulp and crush bass ba boss battles, the effects in that battle. Yo. Don't make me do this shit, man. Don't make me do this shit right now, bro. Look at this shit. You got a little wave right here. Spyro 2. Crush boss battle. Even before the remake on the PS1. How this is way more fast. This is way faster pace. <sighs> Recolor him green. He's better than the Blargan Snaggle Beast. Look at these effects. Look at those effects. Look at the sound effects and everything. A new subscriber from Mr. Bubba Man with the gifted subs. Yo, let's go. Hype in the chat, guys. I appreciate it, man. Yo, Shadow, Mr. Bubba Man. Appreciate you guys. Let's go. Some hype in the chat. But, like, look at this. This is from the 1990s. This is what I'd be comparing it to in my head. I'm like, I'm not looking at Ratchet Clank 1. I'm looking at this from their, their previous work, too. So, 
What the fuck is Ratchet Clank 1 to me when you got this shit? Look at this boss battle. This boss battle versus... Look at the effects here. Boom. Boom. You're hyper engaged. Now let me go back to the blargain. Let me go back to this one. Look at this. The same company. Oh boy. Ugh. It's so slow. Where's the effects? It feels like a prototype. Let's try this baby out. Yes. So slow. And then I go back to just the Spyro 1990s. Go back to the same, the same thing. Look how fast this shit is. Look at the effects. Look at the sound effects. Beautiful. You see where I'm coming from? Uh, you like Ratchet Click one more than it. It aged super, super bad. It is so bad. Like, even the rocks do not recall. I am happy we fucked up your Jesus chat. Oh my god. Like, look at this. That's it. The Brits have toasted. But nah, bro. It's, it's like... Tell me not. T tell me not. Like, look at this. How is this PS1 game? It's a it's literally like the blog in Snaggle Beast, but a Crip one. And it's done so much better. I remember that blog in Snaggle Beast fight when you do it in Ratchet Clank, you're using the blaster and you're mindlessly shooting that thing. You are mindlessly shooting it. And you're running around the map against slow-paced jumps and waves. And I was like, how is this done so much better, so much fast paced, so much more? of a better scaling and it's almost the look how much details on the floor of this look at the colors popping on the ps1 look at the colors the ps1 look at the colors everywhere it's not gray it's not green the music the heart the soul ratchet clank one has no soul mm -mm. Mm -mm. this solidifies it for me like, I just want to go and replay Spyro now because of this. Look how fast-paced this fight is. And then, let's go. Ratchet, one, Blargian, Snaggle Beast. Fight. This is like my last point, and I think we should just get off of this. Hold on. Ratchet, one, the Blargian, Snaggle Beast. This is my... This is the best... Why? It's really not that... Difficult to decipher. There's no hype in the background. There's no music in the background. Ripto was much more of an engaging character. This isn't over, Quark. No. His voice is all raspy and shit. I hated this voice. Look at the colors. Yo, what kind of ragu seasoning is in that in that lava, bro? That don't even look like lava. They did lava better on the PS1. You can barely see the enemy. He has no colors to him. That looks like less than PS1 graphics on that laser beam. You're just gonna use the blaster until you run out of ammo and dodge these mid-ass jumps. You got four health bars. And look how low, look how slow it's gonna go and drain that HP. And what do you pull out? You're gonna be you're gonna be fighting for ammo here. Now you got the glove of doom. You're not even shooting with this gun. And he's gonna go and shit on it. This is strategy. So we got the autopilot stuff. Now you have to use the blaster at its limited range. And then you got the mind glove. These guns, you got a bunch of gloves. No real, no real guns. No real guns. And he's still moving super, super slow paced. Battle music in the background, but I still think Spyro outdid them here. Look how slow it looks and look at these effects. The PS1. Nah. Nah. What about this is engaging? I'm picking up blaster ammo, 40 packs of blaster ammo. Like I said, the gun's not even leveling up. My HP's not leveling up. It's not fast paced. The, the, the monster look half damn near AFK. But even if they, but okay, if they went to go learn the new console, they're learning. You gotta judge it for what the work they gave is here. It's shit. Like I can't. I love what it did for my channel. I loved it as a child. But when I grew up, I looked at this shit and it's like this is a bad game. I'm sorry to whoever that offends. That's my opinion. 
It's a bad game. They fell from grace from Spyro 2 and 3, and it seems like they were just trying to figure themselves out. They did not figure out who they were till going commando. Like, look at this. Where's the gunplay? You have such a limited amount of guns, so you're supposed to whip out the Parasitor and just burn them right there at close range. And then look at the, the effects on the, the shields and everything. And the colors are shit. And then if I just go right back, all right? That's the Blargin Snagglebeast. He does this for nearly 10 minutes. Okay, five minutes, if anything. Ratchet, PS4, Snagglebeast. Let's see how they changed it in the remake. Look at this one. We'll go to this one. And then let me look at Spyro 2, 1997 or 1998 Gulp Fight. So this is just the middle of the game fight. Look at this. Spyro 2, 14 years ago. Look at this fight. Spyro ain't even using guns and is so much more engaging. How's Spyro not even using any guns? They knew what they had to do. They had to pick a smaller battlefield. They made so many mistakes. Look at the effects. Look at the colors. On a PlayStation 1. How fast paced this is. Look at this game. And it's difficult. And then let's look at the remake one more time. Snort the Snagglebees fight. There's colors. It's engaging. There's a story here. The introduction to the other one is just quirk. Ah, I got you trapped. You're in a testing facility for the Blargian Snagglebees. It's introduced properly. He looks menacing. What did you teach me? Captain? He's garbified. But then again, it's like for me, Ratchet like one, what backstory of fighting monsters did he have to even justify him being that cocky running into this? You know what I mean? He was a mechanic. In this one, he's a mechanic and then he grows into the character of being a hero. What did he do to become this this shooter when he was a mechanic in the first one? Most of his weapons was gloves. The HP in here, it's actually scaling properly. There we go. Level ups keeps you engaged. The colors are nice. Look at him. He's actually trying to fight you. I don't know, man. I feel like most people just sit talking out of nostalgia because there's no way you could say that this boss fight is better than the first one. I'm mean, like better in the first one. It is so mid. Look at this. It's engaging. Even if it's the same layout, they figured it right. The monster's chasing you. They lost control of the subject. They're talking. There's dialogue during the fight. Oh my god. They give you waves of smaller enemies to fight. To fix the lack of anything else in here. So many things flying around. You look at him in the background. He's menacing. Oh my god. He's coming right at you. Yeah, nah, nah, this solidified. I, I'm not replaying the first one. I, I don't think I'm replaying that first one, bro. Unless there's like some super crazy event, I ain't replaying it because there's no reason, there's nothing pulling me through that. Oh, it's, it's, it's so, it's so bad. I'm pretty valid, valid, right? Like, it did very, it aged poorly. It had a banger soundtrack. It did have a banger soundtrack. You actually thought Legend of Spyro games were absolutely phenomenal. I actually like Legend of Spyro. Um, we see, Ratchet Clank 1 did have good soundtracks. Uh, yeah, it did. It did. It did have good soundtracks. I even heard in the background while we're fighting the Snagglebees. Soundtracks, A1. A1 soundtracks. But in terms of gameplay, in terms of um, everything else, mm, like what, what background does he have as a shooter? Like, tell me, how does the, how is his character as Ratchet? Like, they're trying to find his character here. How do you, how are you this much of an intergalactic uh, hero and shooter when you're a mechanic? It don't make sense. It actually makes more sense in the PS4 version, even if they gerbified him because he looked up to these guys. Versus in the second, in the, in the first one, he's a mechanic on a very stranded isle, like a uh, planet. The man's running around with just mainly the blaster. It doesn't make sense. It, to me, it doesn't make sense. He actually looks scary. Um, you wouldn't want to ruin P Spiral PS1 for you, but have you seen how the fairies look? Spiral PS1. I actually see how the fairies look. I like the way the fairies looked. The graphics of this reimagined game looks so good. Yes. Basically what Rayman Origins look like. 
original he wanted to escape while here he wanted to be a hero and he got while the original ended up being as one i agree with that one though like that the ending of the the remake yeah they really botched the ending i feel like towards the halfway mark and the three-fourths mark of the remake is where it started to get choppy 100 percent agree with that the first one though there's nothing that pulls me into that plot line besides like Drek's character in the first one, peak. Like I think Drek was done so much better in that first one. I like Drek as a villain and the way they kind of um <coughs> brought him up. Um You don't like Ratchet of One anymore? Nah, I, I really don't. Like it's aged in 20 years, it's aged like milk. Like I go to this. This gameplay is way more alluring to me, right? Colors, calm, peaceful, tranquility. To me, Spyro 2 and 3, better than Ratchet and Clank 1. Spyro... Spyro 1 and Ratchet and Clank 1 got that same empty vibe. I don't know how to explain it. They didn't even have the voice actor right in the first one. Uh, to me, I feel like a lot of people like the nostalgia of it, but like Spyro 1 was ass. They couldn't even hover. And the same thing happened. They re they repeated all the mistakes with Ratchet and Clank. I felt like two and three peak. Ratchet and Clank one, Spyro one, mid, mid at best. And I will be I will be the Ratchet and Clank fan that says it. I will be the one that has to say it because it's like yo, there is nothing appealing about that to me. I know I just went on a whole half hour rant, but like, that was just my point. I respect everybody's opinions, but like, I, I, I still don't really get what would be so enticing about going back to just playing with the blaster, bro. It is all I remember from that game as a gun because everything else was gloves and then the devastator and the flame thing. So you only have like, a, so the only real gun you have is the blaster. The only one gun that you really have is the blaster. And then I guess you could call the devastator a gun too. So those are the main two. So I feel like if you got the porosity for close range stuff, between everything else, every other gun is trash, bro. At least here you have the pixelizer, you have the mini nuke, you got the lancer or whatever the blaster was. All these other fun things that kind of give gameplay variations and versus this. The music though is so good. We should look up an OST comparison. I like I like this battle though, like comparing the two. Because even if you guys say you like the first one, I respect your opinion. I'm just saying, for me, the game is doo-doo. Bruh. Like, I want to go play the PS4 one. As a kid that grew up with this, I want to go play the PS4 one. Especially when you see moments like this. I remember they just start shooting the bridge and it just literally looks like potato chips and shit. Versus here... Look at the stairs. There's color. Bru what are the color schemes here? Brown, gray, green. Brown, gray, green. Here they knew that. They had to fix that. Empty. Sp like even here. Red, gray, blue. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me go back. Planet Aridia. I like seeing these side by side comparisons. This one used the movie OST, right? It fits the vibe. They're going for like a Marvel thing here. But Ratchet and Clank 1 OST does clap this one. Are invaluable in navigating the sewers of the galaxy. We should search the area for Skid's agent. Oh my god, that music. You hear that? Oh yeah. I'll give the OST for sure. They got the OST right. It matches what they were trying to aim for with like the badass, the badass protagonist during that PS2 era where everybody was trying to be badass like Jack 2. Where it's like, yeah, we well, have a shooter. But the thing is, I don't look at Ratchet Clank 1 as a shooter because it's just a blaster that I'd be using for the majority of the game. 
it, it feels like a prototype. I feel like Scratch Clank 2 and 3 are the shooters. Ferocitor. You can even see the gameplay variety right here in front of you. He's using one gun on that one. Let's see what we're using here. Ferocitor to run through the whole thing. So there's no strategy involved there. Here, there's actually more strategy in the, the PS4 version. He has to actually look through the tunnels and figure out how to shoot that guy at the end. And use the cover system. Here, he's still using the Parasitor. The same gun throughout the whole level. Through the whole level, you're using one gun. I can't. I can't. Look how many guns you have in the remake. Look how many guns and stuff. Look at the look at your arsenal in the remake. Help! These brutes are trying to kill me. Take out the law back. Buzzblades, Lancer, Parasitor, Pixelator, the dancing bomb things in case you want to run up close and the nukes. So much more strategy. You have a cover system. They didn't have no cover system in the first one. It's that prototypish. The more I look at it, the more I There's no convincing argument, man. Mm -mm. Look at that, he's jumping through. Okay, now he's switching back and forth. Look at that, some gameplay diversity. Ah, uh, for me, the PS4 version is actually is so much better just because... I will go ahead and say it. I think it's the popular thing to hate it. That's engaging gameplay. That is engaging. Hey, you must be the two heroes who saved my clients, huh? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Socket and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Right, right, beautiful. Sprocket and Plank. I like the sound of it. Real marketing potential. I could sell that. Uh, listen, my client and I got separated in our somewhat hasty trek back to the ship. I'd go meet up with them, but this place is crawling with sand sharks. I don't know, even the cutscenes, I, I can't even say which one's better or worse because the first one, the characters are so quiet and bland too. This one, look, let me see if we can see a comparison here. Top of a reason to buy this game and go through Ratchet and Clank's first adventure again thanks to all the changes. Ratchet and Clank blasts off on April 12th in the US and April 20th in most of Europe. Yeah, I'm passionate about Ratchet and Clank, that's why I went so like in detail with this. I am passionate about it. Ratchet and Clank, the game based on the trailer. 60 FPS, practically flawless upgrade to 60 FPS. What? Ratchet and Clank, PS2. Let's see. Oh my God. The OST's peak. This is this is straight out of the 90s though. I like this guy's name is Super Saiyan. Wow. Oh, there we go. This is the banger right here. Reboot face animations are stiff. I agree with that though. The reboot, the, the facial animations did look a bit wonky there. You didn't care for that cutscene to handle. I hear you. Did you see the music? Uh, I don't know if I saw it. I probably should have the story right like PS4, but the gameplay is so fun in that one. I agree, JC. I agree. Dark Neon says using one gun seems kind of boring. It is boring. It is so boring because the same gun you see right here in the poster art, that is all you use for the whole fucking game. That is the only real gun. And I'm like, what about this is appealing because it doesn't even level up. And then, yeah, oh, it has gold guns. Bro, you have to get to the end of the fucking game to use that. What if, what? What? Yeah, but it has a gold gun. You have to beat the fucking game to get that. So I feel like a zombie when I played. I swear to God. I swear to God. Ratchet and Clank PS2 up your arsenal. OST. There's something about this one just calling me here. Starship Phoenix. Let me hear this. Nah, bro. I guess so bored of using that blaster, that half-ass gun that can barely reach like two feet in front of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good.
Ja. Oh. Yeah. You feel like you're on the feet to this shit. Oh my god. This is a W right here. This. Nah, I feel like I'm about to join the Avengers to this shit right here. This is so relaxing. Yo, Shadow with the five bomb. My Mylon launch site, Ratchet 3 Note said it. Got you right now, brother. Yo. Dude, Shadow got some pretty good taste here. What the fuck? Kerwan? I'm, I'm pulling up back that Metropolis track. That shit is uh, a banger. I'm gonna go to Adam 22 in a second. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I can see why. If this is what people remember when they think about Ratchet Clank 1. This is this matches the tone of whatever they were trying to build the vision perfectly. David Bergel. But isn't this the opening theme? Hold on, Ratchet and Clank 2. Wait, wait, wait. Ratchet and Clank 2 going commando opening area. Hold up, that first area, right? No commentary. What's the music playing in the background here? To track the thief's location to a flying base. Sir, ready for launch. See, is in this game where he felt like going commando, he's a trained warrior, he knows how to shoot. That type of stuff they kind of trained him to shoot. Push the OST. Oh my god. Look at the colors right away. In this game, the colors, there's actual colors. And this OST just pulls you in. We're gonna go to my launch site next. I feel like a secret agent. Right away, they knew you, they had to give you a better gun. Right away they knew, make the bolt system better, everything was improved, everything, EXP system, the money system, they have a multiplier in it to make you seem like you're getting a much more larger amount of cash versus like 10 bolts for that fight. The color scheme in this game, blue and orange. Versus... Yeah, they, they fixed a lot of the mistakes, but Ratchet Duck 1, you're going through a barren planet. This one, you're in a very more compact area. It's faster paced. You're trying to run into this whole new plot, a whole new galaxy. The music is inviting. It's lively. You're moving on a ship. This is stuff that you wouldn't really see in gaming. You're basically invading a ship. And it's got that war, that war theme to it. It's got like a little bit of Jack 3 on that one. Let's see. Let's see, Shadow dropped the bomb here, he said Mylon launch site, which one was this? This man knows this one by heart, so it's gotta be a banger. Hold up. 409, extended, they have an extended version of this? Wait a minute. Yo, the man on the violin like this! David Bergel. Bro, I want to replay Ratchet Clank 3. I got chills.
Kind of give me Spider-Verse themes to it, kind of, though. Like, when they're chasing Miles, 